Welcome back to the Unsquared Circle. Um, now we're going to move things right along to our Diva Detour. Alright! Hey guys, Hacha couldn't make it today. She's off doing autographs in London. So I'm here to do your Diva news. Let's start it off. Uncommonly seen TNA knockout, Tracy Brooks suffered an injury to one of her breast implants this past month while visiting troops in the Middle East alongside fellow knockout SoCal Val. Brooks was firing a machine gun and the shell kicked back and fell down into her shirt and burned the implant pretty bad. Pro Wrestling Illustrated has crowned WWE diva Kelly Kelly wrestling's sexiest woman. A poll was done on the website and Kelly won with 26% of the votes. Here are the rest of the results. Velvet Sky, 17%. Mickey James, 12%. Angelina Love, 10%. Maria, 9%. Maurice, 8%. Michelle McCool, 5%. And all the other divas got 13%. Former WWE diva Ashley Massaro had teased a possible return to the WWE ring before or at SummerSlam pay-per-view. Massaro posted an update on her Twitter page. Here is what it said. Cross your fingers! As long as nothing pops up, I'm making my return before or just in time for SummerSlam. There is no word on if this will be a full-time or one-off appearance. Massaro asked for her release last year to tend to family matters. According to a source, new TNA Knockouts Champion Angelina Love suffered a concussion in the Knockouts Championship match at Lockdown. A bad spot by Taylor Wilde caused the concussion. Wilde performed a diving crossbody and her hips slammed hard into Love's head, knocking her out. She says she doesn't even remember winning the match, in which she won the Knockouts title. It is unknown if she will have to take some time off, but she will likely have to take it easy for a while, depending on the severity of the injury. According to another source, former WWE diva Tori Wilson will appear on a new reality TV show that will air on NBC. The show is called I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here! The show will feature celebrities being dropped off in remote locations and being left there to survive on their own. The show is slated to debut on June 1st. Alright, that's all for the Diva News. Back to you guys and your junk. Anyways, I am T-Roy and Hizzy here for Wrestling White. I do the best I can here to uh, do him a justice. So, WWE announcer Taz is done with the WWE. There are a few rumored reasons for his departure. One is that his contract expired and will not be renewed. Bummer. Others say that he had asked for his release a while ago and he's finally granted it. It is unknown if either of these are true. Taz is set to make his debut with TNA Wrestling as soon as his non or no compete clause with the World Wrestling Entertainment expires. As TNA has hinted in recent weeks, Taz will be coming and as a mentor slash advisor to Samoa Joe and is expected to eventually transition to the announcer's table. Now, I'm just going to throw something out there real quick. John Madden, apparently no longer doing the announcing thing, which is just sad. Uh, if anyone knows John Madden, it's downright hysterical because he points out the obvious. We're just going to go ahead and uh, you probably take that out in editing. <laughs> Reports are coming in that The Undertaker, <laughs> I remember him, <laughs> is currently in bad shape regarding his knees. Probably because he's 3,000 years old. <laughs> apparently after WrestleMania... Oh, 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 oh. Yes! Apparently, after WrestleMania, he stayed in his hotel room and was icing his knees. Recently, The Undertaker's knees have been giving him trouble, but he continues to go on. Taker will be taking time off during the year, as well as Shawn Michaels, another oldie but moldy. <laughs> in a recent radio interview, WWE superstar Shawn Michaels announced that WrestleMania 26 may be his last. Are any of these guys just, like, done? Or are they kind of, like, dropping, like, flies or something? It's kind of sad. They're going to have, like, WWE old folks home. Now, that would be pretty cool. They're, like, wrestling and pudding. It's going to be awesome. Sean... <laughs> Sean said that his contract expires shortly after WrestleMania, and he now wants to spend more time with his kids. Aww. 
Michaels then mentioned he thinks he'll get back into wrestling, but when his kids are teenagers and don't want don't want to hang around him. Now come on, you know what the backyard of the Michaels Reds is going to look like. His kids are going to be throwing each other through picnic tables, jumping off garages. Uh, it'd actually be kind of cool. According to the source, WWE announced an Undertaker retirement tour in November. A retirement tour? What exactly does that consist of? It's like the Share Tour. <laughs> it's like the AARP Tour. <laughs> The tour will take place in Dublin, Ireland, and the tour is called Undertaker's Rest in Peace Tour. How fitting. As reported before, The Undertaker was in bad shape after his match against Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania. That's like, that's like the bucket list people fighting each other. He's having problems with his knees. The Undertaker is expected to retire <laughs> sometime after WrestleMania 26. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, and the final one. <laughs> As it was previously reported before, Vince McMahon, a.k.a. the name that I know wasn't very good, made some comments regarding certain situations that TNA has shown on screen, calling them... Re what the heck? Re reprehensible. Reprehensible. See, I told you, I, I did graduate high school, but barely. <laughs> TNA president Dixie Carter referred to McMahon's comments during a UK Sun interview... I think it's wonderful that Vince watches TNA Impact, and I agree with him that things such as the brutal beating of a 60-year-old man, a vicious home invasion, and gratuitous man-on-woman violence can be seen as reprehensible. Is that for real? Anyways, and that's just three Monday nights in a row. Carter was referring to Jericho beating Ric Flair, Triple H breaking into Randy Orton's home, and Orton hitting Steph with his trademark DTT on the ropes. Survey said. Oh, good. Survey said. So, anyways, that's my thing. I'm T. Roy and the Hizzy here for Wrestling White and Party On. Let's move on to my news. There have been reports of people who would have or were replaced in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Well, the newest replacement goes to Finley, who replaced the originally selected Tommy Dreamer. Tommy was originally selected to participate as the feeling was he could take bumps quite well and that he could put on a good show with the hardcore style that he has. WWE officials then thought that Tommy wouldn't be a good fit because compared to the younger, more fitter wrestlers, he <laughs> just right. wouldn't you know, fit in there. So they chose also Mark Henry to be in this match. Oh. Big, fat, uh, heavyweight jobber. Hey, hey, hey. More news. It's been reported that Sting, TNA, TNA's world champion, name came up as a possible name for the WWE Hall of Fame this year. Many people in the creative team tossed this name around without knowing that he was actually involved in the competition. So, you know, I'm not even going to go there. Oh. On a note of the future Hall of Fame inductions, it is possible that Sting will still be on good terms with Vince McMahon, and he will possibly get into the Hall of Fame after his tenure in TNA is up. Um, it's also being reported that former WWE superstar and TNA wrestler Monty Brown uh, is in negotiations with the WWE on his return. Yeah. Okay. Doo doo doo! Uh, it's been reported also that Sanjay Dutt is finally signed with Ring of Honor. Uh, there are online reports on talks between the former TNA talent and the WWE as a possible deal, but that fell through. So he's now Sanjay Dutt is now on his way to uh, the Ring of Honor. And in the last of my news, according to a source, former three-time TNA X Division champion and former TNA World Tag Team champion Black Machismo, ooh yeah, Jay Lethal baby has signed another contract with TNA. Uh, TNA has said that Jay Lethal signed a multi-year contract. Well, I guess that's it for my news. Let's move on along. Yuck. Yeah. There's a yak in my room. Break the wall.